Yo everyone, what up? Welcome back to Top Tier Arcade. My name is Steve, and I'm on the floor on my spare bedroom where we're housing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, pinball machine. Now this is going to be part 5 of the restoration, and the reason I'm on the floor is I'm going to be bondoing this right here. Now to give you a closer view, hope I'm getting this, but yeah, I'm going to be bondoing this. Now you might be saying, well Steve, how are you going to do it? So I did end up getting Bondo. It's not a lock because I just want to do this portion. I didn't get the can one. I'm going to just cut off the top. I've never used this. It's a LePage uh, wood filler, paintable, stainable, solvent free, sandable, blah, blah, blah. So here's the idea. Here's the carriage bolt that I'm going to actually put behind. Ah, this thing hit me. So I'm going to put the washer and a carriage bolt like this and then I'm going to spray paint this black. Now, you might be asking, well, why don't you just either paint it green or just forget this thing and fill it in and paint it. The thing is, the artwork will come out to here. And I know it's not a lot, but this is a little uh, hit here. I don't have uh, the artwork and I don't want to touch it up. So what I'd rather do neatly is nicely put a black um, I think I'll do black. Maybe I'll do green. I don't know. We'll see. No, black, so it covers. I'll do. I'm gonna spray paint this, spray paint this black, and I'm gonna actually bondo inside, and then later on get touch up paint and do this in a round, and then this will just be here with the bolt in the back. So I don't really mind that to be honest. It was you know it shows a little '90s wear. It was in an arcade. There was an actual lock on it, so I'm not too big on it. I don't have the skill technique. To, I know it's not a lot to the to the yellow and I've thought about it and it's not impossible I could always do it after but from right now I'm going to do it now uh, with with this uh, Bondo so I know it's a small little portion we're going to get right started I'm going to cut to it in a sec I'm going to cut the top we're going to work with it and because I do have my dad's actually a painter but I haven't been at his place in a while and he has tools and sanding but I'm going to let it uh, sit and I'm going to also uh, just use these to, to you know to flatten it out because I do have a spatula, but again, it's it's such a small array. I'm going to just do it very very lightly and come back to it back and forth. So let's cut away. Let's put on the first uh, layer. I assume. Uh, let's see how well it you know adheres to this. And I want to make it flat so then when I put this on, it's going to cover that. So uh, okay, I'll be back. So I just cut the top and uh, let's get right to it. I've never worked with this before. I have the fan on because it's hot as hell in here. And uh, let's just get right to it. Let's hope this adheres. Oh, not bad. Okay. Okay, it's a little messier than I thought. But what do I expect? Maybe I'll put it on it. What I'm thinking of doing is, because um, this I'm gonna have to spray paint, the, or uh, sorry, sand this. Is maybe I'll do a couple coats. You know, maybe I'll put a lot, and then I'll uh, come back. Let's see. I remember uh, painting with my dad before I. My current job now, I remember being an actual painter by trade. Now, we didn't have to do things like this, I'll be honest, but it kind of brings me back, I have to be honest. It's uh, cool. And yes, I do have tools, but not with me, and I don't have the time, to be honest, or even patience. Now, I know you're saying you should have took the coin door off. I'm going to just wipe this in a second. This might be uh, not as easy as I thought here. Nah, it will be. That's okay. Maybe we'll just start there and do it a little by little. Let me just wipe this off. This is no rush. Again, uh, just to give you guys an update. Adriano, if you remember in the last video, um, or when I did Adriano's uh, Pinball Arcade, if you want to check that, my own tour series, um, Adriano's having um, great success so far with my Turtles playfield. Now it's not without its difficulties because it's definitely uh, a big endeavor 
But uh, I've seen some pictures and I tell you, man, it looks awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm super excited about that and grateful that he's doing that. And uh, hopefully it'll be ready. Oops, sorry. Hopefully it'll be ready sooner than later. And uh, we can start to put the play field together. And hopefully I remember how. And uh, get back to uh, restoring this. And uh, getting playing it again. Because I had a great time playing it. I loved it thoroughly. And I know it's not a really player's pin. But uh, it's definitely one of my grails. And one I remember. And uh, just loved. Uh, you know I just really loved when I was a kid. So. And the whole theme. I mean theme's amazing. You know what? I'm going to just put a little on my finger. Have a little more flexibility. And again I'm going to come back. Yeah, f using my finger is a lot easier. Actually, it's how I'm going to do it. So I just want to go around. I know this is probably not the best way, but it's the way I decided to do it. Come on. Again, we can always shave off the excess. Uh, that's pretty good, I think. All right. All right. I think what I'll do uh, is leave it like that. I still have a good amount left. And then I'll come back and I'll start to... Uh, Add a second layer and then even it out. Because tr uh, truth be told, as I look around, I really hope I didn't forget my sandpaper at my dad's, which I think I did. Damn it. Uh, worst case, I mean, I'm gonna, uh, we're going to come back to this because I don't want this video just to be about bonding. Um, so if you see me looking a little different, different clothing, shaved, not shaved, haircut, it's because I came back to it. So guys, I'll be back, and uh, again, we'll see what how this looks, the next step, and uh, we'll take okay, it Okay, so there. it's been around a few hours, and uh, the first layer has dried, to my satisfaction. It's ugly, and what I've done is I put the actual uh, carriage bolt there so I can form it around it, and it's exaggerated, obviously, because I can flatten it out later. So I'm going to let that dry overnight. I, I ended up doing... Um, a little on the side here, and again, it looks like shit, but then I'm going to sand that down. And then once this comes, uh, I'm going to sand this down. And then I did a little here, which is already dry. Try to get in there. And uh, yeah, that, that's all I'm going to do as far as cabinet work. Everything else, the cabinet's beautiful. Like I said, it was 9 out of 10. Um, just covering that. All right, so... Next time you're going to see me, I'll probably be doing some light sanding, have the vacuum and have some paper towels down and uh, start sanding that to my dissatisfaction. Once it's nice and smooth, then uh, I'll get paint and I'm going to start painting these legs here because so, they're not too bad. It, with spray paint, paint these here, a little spray paint there. The handles are actually really good. And then I want to get the match paint. That's going to be important. Again, maybe a small bottle like this. Do here, do a little here, a touch up there. And then once that's done, uh, prepare hopefully for Adriano to uh, be finished and he's doing very well. And uh, get ready for, uh, you know, putting back the play field, which I hope the guy to remember. And if I do need help, uh, my guys can help me. But I should be okay. I'm going to take my sweet time. So I'll be back. I'll probably look different and I'll be um, sanding this. And if there's anything in between I missed, um, you know, I'll update you. All right, I'll see you then. All right, everyone, we are back. It's been a few days since, and uh, you can tell it's changed a little, hasn't it? So what I've decided to do, uh, Adriano, who's doing my play field, I was telling him about matching colors because he's really good at the art and uh, the artwork when it comes to the artistry of it and, you know, matching colors and paint. And he goes to me, Steve, I'll walk you through it. And uh, I'll uh, help you with it, and I really, really advise to uh, cover the hole because there's not much, uh, there's not much missing, and I'll help you with that if need be. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it all. Forget the uh, the carriage bolt. I'll use it for something else. 
So what we're going to do first is I'm going to use this tape, the masking tape. I'm going to just uh, wipe this down. I'm going to just cover the good parts, you know, just around there. This is going to have to be done. So I'm going to just cover up to right here with masking tape. And I'm going to just get, uh, I got some sandpaper, a lot of different variations, five different ones from very coarse to very fine. Um, I'm going to wipe or I'm going to uh, scrub it down just so you make it clean because it's very isolated. I've touched up other little parts as well on the cab, very, very small. I'll be neat about it, and then once it's all nice and smooth, I'll cut back. Maybe I'll even do a montage, we'll see, and uh, about getting that down. I know it's a lot, I've already did it. This has been uh, curing for three or four days now, so that's been very, it's very solid. Hopefully that turns out well, and then uh, we'll start to mix paint, and then this part of the cabinet, which was uh, as far as mixing paint and Matching the green will be a, a very a vital role and I'll show you the paint in just a moment. So let's go ahead and cut away and add a little montage. You know what, why don't we do a montage and see what's up. Okay, so that was around 45 minutes. I actually took out the uh, bolt here just so I can peel this back. I know that I've uh, scraped this, but I do have hammered finished paint, uh, which is actually right there that I'm going to use a little later on. So um, we're actually turned out perfectly, perfectly smooth. I took the uh, very fine, as you can see. I did that on purpose because that's what the other guy did. And then in here. Um, the other side where it's now full Other parts that I've done the cabinet which I've done smooth is right there and a little, little right there I'll Zoom in on that so success uh, that actually went very smooth beautiful. I just cleaned up a little because of the particles now <coughs> what I'm gonna do is um, Get organized it's warm in here definitely a um, warm autumn day and I'm gonna start to I'm gonna start to prep the paint and see if I can match it <clears throat> and hopefully uh, just get it done early. And I think the, what I'm gonna do is test the inside of the cabinet first because it's the same. And if that checks out, then we go to town and then uh, touch that up, and then we should be good. And what I'll do if, if everything works out, I'll just make this all green, and then later, <clears throat> or uh, actually, I'll make this all green up to here. And then later on, I'll uh, maybe see if I can match the yellow and then use that little um, little paint chip as an example. And if that's the works, I'll just kind of trace this out and then put it toward, like, and just kind of draw lines with it. And hopefully that turns out pretty good. So we'll see. We'll see uh, what we're going to do. So that part's now done, uh, which, you know, I was dreading to do. So let's get to then. Let's start to mix the paint. All right, so we're just about to uh, mix the colors or check them out for the first time just to show you what I've got. It's uh, acrylic from uh, Curry's. It's a 24 set. Um, I did see something very similar to the Turtles cap, but the problem is if it didn't match, then I'd have to mix them and do whatever else. So what I've done, oops, I moved these around. I got a color palette. It seems that sap is very, very similar to what the cabinet is, maybe even this one. What's this one called? Green... Some or other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some down. I know it's not a lot, so I have to be diligent to be focused here and, you know, put a little because I know it's not a lot of paint to paint like the touch up. But if I screw this up, I'm really screwed. So let's, um, let me set you up and I guess we'll start to mix and match and do this. Again, it's a little cold, so if you hear the, or warm, if you see the uh, fan on to make it a little colder and cooler, um, we'll uh, try our best to do this. So let's uh, let's set you up. It should be interesting. All right. So I've set you up. The fans in the back. I know it's because uh, it's warm in here. Whoop. And uh, let's do this. So what I've done is I've got clear tape. I can't. 
it's in my my wife or my car. My wife has uh, like a clear plastic, but it's there and I don't have time. So I just got clear tape so I can then pull it up to the cabinet to kind of match the paint once it dries. So we have the three greens. There's another one. There's a mild green. That's to uh, light. I think the closest is between actually the green mid and the viridian. So I'm going to put a little viridian, a little green mid and see if that works and then test it and we'll see what's up. So this is the first time I've dealt this and I have a nice little paintbrush here. First time I'm doing this and uh, this should be very interesting. The paint scent wasn't that much. I think it was, um, it's like 18, like $20 Canadian, which would be around, around 22 American. But uh, it's not the money. I mean, damn, if you gave me a little tube like this for 30, I would have bought it just to make sure to, you know, if it was the exact thing, so I don't have to do all this. So uh, let's prepare. Maybe I'll even do it on this. What do you think? No, no, no. I don't know. Whatever. All right, so let's crack these open. I think this is the one, the closest one. Oh, it's just ready to go. It's like that. Oop. I'll just put a little there. Um, maybe I'll just mix a little blob of this. I'm not that good at this paint. You know, the irony is I actually used to paint for a living. But like house paint, not this stuff. Uh, maybe I put too much already. But when it came to like arts and crafts, oh man, I suck. Try to lighten this up a little and mix this. It kind of looks promising, I'll be honest, at the beginning. I mean, all I'd really need is just, <clears throat> excuse me, this this amount. So my wife was yelling, uh, laughing, at, yelling, laughing at me. She's like, What's so hard? You just, you know, add colors and mix it. I'm like, well, I don't know. She goes, okay, let me test you. What is, uh, how do you make green? I'm like, I don't know. She's like, what two colors? And I'm like, I'm so stupid. So <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Isn't it just like you add a little white to like a blue? It's like, no, you idiot. It's yellow and blue. Anyway, so obviously I don't know my colors well. <laughs> uh, but getting back to this... It's looking actually pretty good. Let me walk over here. Give me one sec. I know it's going to be uh, static. Let me one sec here. Well, I guess this is not a real comparison because one, you have to let this dry apparently. So well, that's kind of stupid of me. So this is the nicest one I have here. Now, I'm going to be cutting in and out, so I apologize in advance for the kind of weird camera work here, or lack of. Um, I'm going to actually just take... Um, just a brush stroke here. And I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to let this dry because that's uh, look, it's not looking too bad. This is going to be kind of be my thing where I match up and I add and I don't. Um, I don't know, man. It kind of looks good already, but it's so hard to tell. So I'm going to let this dry for five minutes. Um, I'll go wash this brush. And we'll just do a little of this. It kind of looks like that. Shit, man, I don't know. So this is an adventure, definitely. Um, I'll be back. Again, weird filming. I'm going to let it uh, dry, and I'm going to just kind of mix, come back, put it on this, and try to match up the closest, and then I guess just get to it. I don't know. This is going to be weird to me, too, so I'll be back, and hopefully this works. All right, it's been an hour. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. So, okay, here's what I've been trying. I tried Viridian on the left with a little 
uh, sap green, and then I did viridian with green mid, and then green mid with sap green, and then all three, and then all through the little yellow, and then I did a little black, and it's it's not going it's not the worst, but here's where I find my issue. Now I know this is gonna be like Steve, what the hell? Okay, I know that's not the right color, but here's what I've run into. This is bare wood. This is already painted. This is Bondo. There are three different textures. There are three different layers. I mean, we're adding another 25 years of worn out gameplay fingerprints and whatever the hell else. So, um, it's a little challenging because there's three different kind of levels to this. Oh, by the way, I have to let it then dry. Here's what I've th here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to get the mid green or I'm going to get viridian and make it even lighter or one or the other and I'm going to just do I'm going to just paint everything to make it light because it's going to be light and then it paints dark. And then from there almost as a base coat, then I'll add my final. So I think I'm pretty close to here. See, it's so hard to tell because again, Bondo and I'm going to need a second coat. But that's, I mean, nothing looks close because I don't know. I mean, that kind of looks close and then that looks close, but then that's wood and then it's wet. That's ah, shit. So <laughs> here's what I'm thinking of doing. If you heard me how much I was swearing, it probably would have banned my video. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut away. I'm going to do a light coat as a bait primer. And then from there, now that I have something a little more uniform, I can add to it because this is the only way. The worst case scenario, I get a paint remover if I really screw it up. And then I'll ask Adrando to come because he's good at this stuff and maybe do it or just create a sticker or this maybe goes off the balcony. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to be back. I'm going to do a base coat. I'm going to just go for broke and see if it works. So I'll be back. Damn it. All right, everyone, it's been around a few hours here and I've been uh, going to town. So here's what I've realized. I've taken the the mid the green mid and on the paintbrush, I remember doing this when I was an actual painter with my dad painting houses. Now I know I'm just testing something with the green but and the yellow. But so what I would do is I put a little, little like the, the virilium, the darker one on the tip on the sorry the bottom right here and then I would actually just dip in this so what I would do is and that's a lighter color but keep in mind a lighter color dries darker and when it goes into wood it's also darker because the natural absorption of the wood so then if I still find it was a little dark I would just take this for instance and I would just touch it is this going to zoom or what? Anyways, I'm just going to touch it a little with the darker paint. And then with my hand, I'd kind of just do this, grab a rag or a, a paper towel and just wipe it. And do it two or three times until it evens out. Let me give you an example. So this whole bottom part, now you might be able to see it in the light. But that whole bottom part, if you remember in the, old, in the other, uh, when I had it, was all wood. So, I mean, right here, you can't even tell. So that's done very well. On the top here, as you could, there was, um, see how that's a little black? Remember I was just seeing? I know this is a weird angle. Right there, that's where I started, which is stupid. But the, um, that's where a little of the dark on the side went in. But you know what? I can go and lighten that up with a lighter color and touch that up as well. So... The whole side here was a little, um, there was a little wood and, and you know, unless you really look close or new from, oh, here's a good example. Hold on one second, let me just, this camera's all over the place. Okay, let me give an example. So right here, this was bare wood. That was bare wood. And so I did that method, I went in, I cleaned my finger, went in, did touch it, touch it. And then all of a sudden it kind of looks part of it. See, even if you look at the side, where the sun is, you can maybe see a little around it, and then here too, you see? But that would have been like that anyways, because it's deeper, so I think so far, I still have to wipe this cap, wipe it down, because I have, uh, like, it was dust, 
and uh, so far so good. So here's this side. It's going a lot better than I thought. This side, I tested on first, and I mean, the angle's shitty. Okay, you see how it's dark? Now, you see how there's still a hole? That's just a shitty bondo job because there's an air pocket behind it, and I'm gonna um, fill it in with either more paint or a quick bondo. But again, see how it's darker? I'm going to lighten it up and then go over it so it kind of matches the cabinet. So I'd rather go lighter, paint a lot of layers of um, lighter and then go dark. Now, here's where it gets kind of exciting. So, just pretend this is a game room. I know that's terrible work. From far, it's kind of hard to tell unless you know. Now, I'm still working on the Michelangelo. But from before, that's actually pretty good. Let me zoom in close. I still have to hammer finish spray painting the this as well and put the, the carriage bolt back. But when you look close, now this is, I mean, I'm really exposing everything here. <coughs> and uh, I've taken a uh, ball, like a, I remember my wife gave me this. It's like a ballpoint pen, but it's like a black, I don't know, whatever. And it worked actually better than a Sharpie. So I just, I, I did it in his face on the corner. So it looks, you know, pretty matching. The yellow there, I'm letting dry because I left this exposed. Now I'm making it a circle just for now. So I'm going to trace this pattern on paper. And then with maybe like, and then imprint, you know, the, the little star um, pattern here. And just go out, out, out. And then we're pretty much good. And to be honest... For my very first time doing this as a win, mind you, Adriano gave me a lot of uh, um, help behind the scenes. And I'm just doing layers now because it was green, so I'm just going to layer and layer yellow. Because that yellow is kind of weird, it's an off yellow. So I have, you know, the art set down here. And this is going a lot better than I thought. Like, a lot better. Like, if, if you weren't a keen eye, and if I, once I color this up and put that thing, uh, the carriage bolt and just... Um, and this is nice and smooth. That was, again, a little bubble behind, but I don't mind. I don't care. I'll just fill it in with paint. I'll just adding little, little layers of paint until it's smooth. So I'm going to go over this a little again with um, a paper towel and actually kind of wet it a little, little, like dampen it. So then it takes off a little paint and then go over it again or maybe even leave it. I don't know. I'm a little excited and a little hesitant to screw it up because it's better than I thought. And again... If I was far back and in a dark game room, you will never see that I've done that. So I'm going to be back with you. Oh, and I did all this top. This was all um, non, uh, it was all wood, like all here on the tip. So that's all done, even the sides here, if you remember, and even on that side. So I'm very, um, a little proud of myself. Even down here, I've done as well. That was all bare wood. So I'm pretty proud right now that it's working. I don't want to jinx it. One step at a time. We're not in a rush. And uh, yeah, another little thing. I was gonna get Brasso, but I they were sold out. And you you see all this tarnish? It's annoying me. So I ended up getting this, which the guy at Canadian Tire, which is a Canadian like Ace Hardware. He's like, Steve, this will work. It's better than what you're saying. And it, it even says tarnish and oxidization right there when it says peak removed, tar uh, tarnish oxidization discoloration. And I'm gonna get. I just actually ran out of cube tips. For the first time ever, of course, get my wife to buy them. And I'm going to actually just test this so I can get all that nice and blinged and chromed out. And then once we uh, start to do that, I'll start with the hammer finish like I have there. Sort of for the erratic camera work. And just literally on the cabinet, mask it off a little spray like I've learned last time and leave it. So I think we're going to be in good shape. And later I want to do the legs because they're hammer finished now. The lockdown bar is not hammer finished, but I think what I'm going to do to match, because this is as well, see that texture? I'm going to actually match it, so I'm going to spray off, well, I'll show you later. Anyways, let's do, let's do this, we'll be back, and uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy how this is turning out. It takes long though, take your time and take the day, I have some music on, and I'm hanging out, so I'm very proud, again, from this angle, like even if I did quick, I'm like, hey guys, uh, talk to you again. And then you couldn't really see it well a little there. But anyways, I'm rambling. I'm a little excited. I'll be back. And uh, yeah, let's see where we are. All right, so it's been uh, about another hour or so. So from far, 
So just pretend I'm like, hey guys, what's going on? And then you saw the turtles. I don't know if it'd be so evident, you know, now coming in, be honest with me, what do you think? Now I know it's a little light. Remember, I have the light right on it. Here's what I want to do. Um, the cabinet has a per, like sheen. You see it has that sheen? Well, this doesn't. So what I want to do is uh, there's a clear coat uh, spray that I can get that I want to do just the front so it all kind of matches. Um, it's still drying, so that's why it's a little like darker and hopefully it stays there. But yeah, that's the closest I can get. I don't think it's too bad. I mean, again, in the game room, I free-handed uh, the star behind it. What do you think? I think that's okay, free-handed. Yellow is very difficult to work with. Adrian was telling me, you idiot, you have to use white behind him. Like, ugh, so you can tell it's a little lifted. Tried my best to fill in the face of Michelangelo. I know it's not perfect, but you know what? For my first time, and I'm really in here again, I'm going uh, to I'm gonna set this up. I'm going to tape this now that it's dry. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to uh, use this hammered finish. I'm going to use this hammered finish just a little on there. Just a little, a little spread. Like, just, just, that's it. Put the bolt back and see how it works, or how it looks, I should say. And then later on, um, again, I'll uh, do a spray. So from not too far, it looks pretty good. That was free-handed. And I have shaky hands, too. So I'm satisfied with it. Again, now that I look at it, I can see it. It's a little different color, like a little more greeny. But I really have the light on it. So when I hopefully spray it, it so you know how right now it has that sheen? Well, that doesn't. So maybe it'll all blend in a little better. But I consider that good and a success um better than i thought i have to be honest with that i know it just looks like it's square now that i'm looking i'm gonna go it's right there but like anything uh nothing's perfect and if it is it either costs money or it has to be done at a professional level and i'm definitely not that so i'm very happy about it let's uh set up i'm gonna just uh, do a quick spray and see how that looks not bad all right so all right so that's quickly masked off it's literally going to be just two or three like spritz and that's it um, let me get the fan, actually I'll put the fan on after. Alright, here we go. I've never used hammer for this before. That's it. That's all I'm doing. That's it. Easy, easy. Not touching it. Now, actually no. While I have this open, I might as well do all this. Whew, that stinks. Um, okay, so obviously you just saw me do what I did. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it to, uh, that looks pretty good. Oh, wow. I'm going to do that to some parts of the coin door. I don't know if you can see it. So right here, the part that scrapes, and uh, just a little over that, and then maybe uh, do a test here right on the uh, handle. <laughs> but uh, it's getting pretty late. I mean, I've been working on this for run uh, five hours well on and off I went to eat I hung out but uh, I think it's all right so so far so good everything looks clean very easy there and uh, yeah I'll be back so if I do come back and it's a different day whether it's night or whatever just because I am bouncing between uh, days while I do this as it dries and I slowly do it and um, you know slowly restore this game but I'm liking how the coin door, you know, the whole look, I didn't have to put that, it, uh, it's my first time. So if I do cut away again, we'll be back and we'll be uh, revisiting uh, maybe the coin door or just spraying. We'll see, but I'll, I'll give you an update. Whew. All right, so what do you think? Look at that, huh? Hammer finished the coin door, looks like it was part of it, so it covered the, uh, the rust around there. All the rust on there, look at that, that's now gone. On the top here, if you remember, that's all gone. Inside, all gone. So that was a great success. <laughs> the hammer finish. Now what I want to do is just do a very light on the front so it's uniform. A protective clear coat so everything looks kind of shiny. Patch that up. That's good enough. Honestly, from here it looks good. <laughs> it's better than a big hole. I'm happy I did it. And it uh, looks not bad. It looks like, you know, out of 10, maybe it's a 7. I don't know. Not like I care, but that's it. Front cord. So next, 
Uh, you'll see me. I'm going to be hammer spraying that. I'm just getting laid and I want to kind of clean up that. I'm going to do the entire lockdown bar. Then one by one, I'm going to uh, take off the legs, do the same, even though they're not bad, only at the very bottom. So what I'm thinking of doing is leaving this as kind of a base coat and then spraying only the parts affected, then going over the entire thing, and uh, that's that. So uh, it's coming along, because once that's done, now we just wait for the play field. There's literally nothing else we'll have to do. Oh, and uh, I'm going to clean that that tarnish and uh, maybe we'll do that all next time so take everything together so it's coming along better than i thought this was intimidating again now that i'm looking at it i know it looks a little darker but yeah it doesn't really bother me honestly now that uh, if i clear coat it so everything's kind of um, shiny and mixed in hopefully it looks better that's the end of it so i'll be back and uh, we'll continue on the restoration of this part all right, so we're back another day um, as we continue the turtles restoration. So what I've done, I've just prepared the lockdown bear, just taped it with some tape here. I'm doing the edges first because they were um, they weren't getting. Uh, they're sorry, there was paint already missing, so I wanted to get more of the heavy worn places. So I'm going to go over it a few times so it doesn't look like it's being layered. So I'm doing that. So I'm going to probably do maybe three coats of this. Being that the lockdown bar gets the most uh, wear, especially on the sides there and there. So very straightforward stuff, covered it. Um, so next what I'm going to do is um, let this dry, take the tape off, do another coat, wait, do another coat again, and uh, see how it looks from there. And then from there, um, I think we'll start taking the legs off, which is kind of annoying, but one by one. And then I'll start to do the same thing. So, so far so good. I mean, this is easy, right? You just spray one thing and that's it. So tape it off and we're good. So I'll be back. We'll see what's up. All right. So I've just done the second coat. So far so good on the sides. Now I'm going to take the uh, tape off and then do the entire uh, lockdown bar. Uh, two coats complete, so it's even. Uh, what I've also done is uh, I've done the sides here, little ghetto, just taped. Little, little, just on the sides there. And uh, just on the sides there. So... Uh, I'll hit this with one more, that one one more, and then um, that with two more, and then on the legs, which we may not get to today just because of the weather and uh, timing. So I'll be back once I do the layers so you can, you know, we can see what it looks like. And uh, after we do the legs, we're pretty much done. So, so far so good. All right, so here we are. So this is uh, what it looks like dried. Let it dry for another three hours, as you can tell. It's pretty good. I mean, the reflection's all weird on this, but it uh, looks nice. Nice finish, everything's unison. That's pretty good. What do you guys think? Nice and shiny, it looks good. No wear on the side. It shows. So it looks pretty good. So, so far, so good. I'm going to just uh, let this dry a little overnight. It's not tacky, but I really want it to fully dry. Actually, I'll turn this fan on, off. All right, so next is, so lockdown bar done. It looks pretty cool. That hammer spray is doing very well, the hammer finish. And then next is gonna be legs, so it matches the coin door and the uh, front lockdown bar. So that's gonna be another day, and uh, we'll do one leg at a time. I guess I'll get something to prop up. Uh, and I'll just do one leg, and I wanna take them all off. I'll just do it one at a time, which is annoying but uh, and it's but it's convenient. Plus, I'll do the uh, the bolts here. So I'll do one at a time, prop it up, and uh, do one like you know, and then we'll do it one by one. All right, guys, I'll be back next day. All right, guys, another day back, and uh, we're just about to do a little more cleaning on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So as you can see, um, this is oxidized and dirty from all the years, and as you can see there now. In retrospect, I shouldn't have put that sticker there already because I got a lot of cleaning to do, but you know, I'm gonna be very careful and tape that off. So here's the plan. I got Q-tips, I got a, uh, that's my water, I got a toothbrush and water, and I get this peak thing, and it's supposed to do with everything from cleans, polishes, protects, oxidization, metal, everything. And um, I did a little test patch, and it seems to be coming, working really, really well. Um, I actually did this part right there, 
just just right here and it's so smooth and uh, hopefully I'll get it out so um, I won't really film the whole thing so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just put a little on and obviously the consistency is like toothpaste so I'm gonna just put it on maybe let it sit for a bit and then scratch it with or um, scrub it with the toothbrush tape that off and then get all this to make it look nice and clean and then from there again we can uh, look how that turned out it looks pretty good huh? a little darker but uh, maybe I can lighten it up maybe just take a little paint off but everyone's like leave it uh, and the coin door looks awesome the hammered spray you can't even tell that looks awesome so I can't wait to do it to the legs and the lockdown board so I'll be back and I'll show you the progress and um, if it takes short I'll just show you the end result so here's a quick before All right, and then I'll just cut to the after. And there you have it. Took around an hour. Uh, got most of the stains out. On the left right there, It's I, I just keep going and going, and it doesn't go away. But look at that. It looks great, huh? It's going close. Yeah, see there it looks brutal. But uh, overall, it's pretty good. You look at that compared to the other one that's actually pretty shiny pretty pretty shiny so um so far so good on that so that's finished yeah i went over this like eight times and i don't know maybe i can keep at it but yeah it's okay so anyways that's the shine looks really nice uh good 80 percent will never and that looks actually really clean now so that's good news that looks a lot cleaner Next, again, if I touch that up, I'll show you, but I doubt it. Next is going to be the, um, just spraying this very gently and tape it off, just so it can match. And then now that again, and then later just doing the legs. And then once that's done, uh, that's going to be the end of this part. And then we pretty much wait for Adriana, which would be uh, maybe in a month or so. But we'll see. So, so far, so good. That went actually very well. This was very work, that work, works very well, I should say. It's called Peak, uh, around $8 a, a tube, maybe cheaper because it's Canadian. So maybe around 5 6 American. So guys, um, I'm going to cut, cut away and we should be doing the spray paint of the metal with the hammered finish. All right, another day, another uh, time. <coughs> start again, Steve. All right, another day, another time to start to restore. So let's get right to it. I'm going to take the, uh, I'm gonna take the uh, two carriage bolts off here. I'm going to use this my computer chair, which is a little roughed up anyways. Fits perfectly right under, here, right under here to support it. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to clean this green thing and then clean, clean that cabinet. I haven't cleaned back there since. And then uh, start to spray paint it. And then I'll bring it outside and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So the game plan is exactly what we did with the lockdown bar, which looks pretty nice. You know, look, looks nice. Mm, looks pretty good. Anyways, um, we're going to isolate the area that doesn't have any yet, and then I'm going to spray, take the casters off, spray it for one time because so it doesn't look uh, so it looks even. Spray one time and then spray it the whole thing once, whole thing again, and do two coats because uh, again the legs don't get that much uh, that much wear. So, anyways, let's get right to it. And I'll show you after when it's spray painted and what it looks like. All right, so we're outside here just on the balcony and just did um, a few light coats. As you can see, that's just it dried on the f one side. I'm just doing the back side now. Looks all pretty uniform. And then there's the carriage bolts as well. So, so far, so good. So good. Easy, very easy. Just we have to wait for it to dry, which is the worst part. But it's a nice day outside. A little, little cool breeze, which hopefully helps it uh, dry. So, so far, so good. I'll show you this side. And again, same thing, a little light on it. So, so far, so good. It looks all right. The legs were not bad. Uh, like, just that, like, I actually took um, sandpaper and any of the rust, I just, I uh, sanded away. So it's flat, so it looks uh, pretty good. Not perfect, perfect, but honestly, it's fine. Some of it wouldn't come off, but that's fine. So, yeah. I'll be back. All right, so this is another day. I never filmed doing the legs. I did them exactly the same. These are the back legs, just to show you. Looks beautiful. And then there as well. I mean, that's hard to tell. 
but everything looks uh, nice and even looks beautiful everything's back on its legs looking great I actually uh, I did the front here I did these as well to match because I did that one when I did the uh, the paint so everything's done so as far as the uh, repainting all the um, the legs and the lockdown you know my wife even asked me are you gonna do this there's no wear on it there is only you see this half an inch on that I know it looks a little weird because it's a little uneven but truth be told I knew a buddy that um, uh, that can actually get things properly coated and done professionally and when I was looking at the price and he was telling me and I'm like what how much and i'm like no way i'm like there's no way i mean we're talking in the hundreds and personally i just don't think it's worth it when there is only a little spot and i just uh, hit it with spray paint and it cost like an old penny so everything looks really good so far okay and this side as well everything looks all right so what we're gonna do is um next you know i don't know what's gonna be next i think we're pretty much ready for the play field, what do you guys think? Because once Drano gives it, we have to light the buttons and I need uh, voltage. I was thinking of getting, I don't know about that start button right there. I do need, um, I do need a little, uh, the little back screw to put it in. I might just get the same button. I might just leave the button. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. No, I'll probably light it still, but we'll see. Well, we'll see. Anyways, either way, so... I think we're pretty much done for this video. This was part four, or excuse me, five. Uh, part five of the restore. And I think next is pretty much, it might be a while, but we're going to wait until Drano gives us the, uh, yeah, he, he's going to give us the, um, the play field. And then we have to put it together, of course. That'll be a whole video. And then putting it in. And then turning it on and hopefully everything works again. And if that's the case, we're laughing. And then after the play field, putting back in the play field. And then um, make sure everything works, of course. Then the next thing we're going to do is just do the LEDs, put the toys back on. And then this restore is done. We can uh, close this off as a, you know, as a, a complete project. Uh, not a hundred hundred percent, but damn near way better. So so far so good um, I'll see you in the next video guys. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please do so I can't wait until this comes to life and I really hope that everything turns out well I'm still a little worried when I get the play field that Drano is going to do an amazing job And I hope to complement that with putting everything back together. I hope I remember I've taken pictures like I said before and um, we Get this up and running. So once the play field goes in turn it on Put it together and uh, hopefully we turn on and then the lights should be an easy just LED buy maybe some mods who knows but either way guys thanks again for checking out top tier subscribe you're going to want to see the end of this one and it's going to be coming in the month new uh, in the new month or, or in the next month or so plus a lot more other videos like subscribe tell your friends all the best thank you again for checking out top tier peace <music>